Hey everybody, another little video here about my crazy obsession with uh, collecting stuff. And this is kind of about, kind of about Street Rotter, but uh, it's kind of not. Uh, a lot of you know about this magazine, it was around for a while. One of my favorite magazines next to, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the one there, so I'll think of it in a minute. Anyway. This was a great magazine. I bought it for years, but what I liked about it, and a lot of you probably know this, is the Modeler's Corner in the back. So, I've been collecting these Street Rotters forever uh, for ideas on builds and a lot because of the articles in the back. And this is 74. And this isn't a Modeler's Corner. This is a article. I got the rest of it somewhere. There's a nice picture of there, what was in the magazine. Uh, I got the rest of it somewhere, hopefully in my pile there. This was an article about building a replica of your real car in scale. And it kind of went through and told you how to do it and what kit to use and what parts were available. And this was back in 74. So I don't know if they did any more articles like this, for, but this here, 78 Street Rotter is the first Modeler's Corner article. There's no author. I'm sure they're probably Tim Boyd's builds. Uh, maybe not. I know. I don't know. Not an expert here. Just guessing. But this just kind of explaining why they did it. Overwhelming popular demand. So they brought it back for a column. And they don't know what they're calling it, but they obviously stuck with Modeler's Corner. So this is the first one in this magazine. And it's uh, February 78. So every time I find old street riders, I buy them and collect these. So if we go over here, I had a brainstorm here, so we had to postpone the Camaro there for a little while. Because I had a brilliant idea to take all of them. Because I would cut them out of the magazines. Because they're easier to store than a whole bunch of Street Rider magazines. So I cut all these out whenever I find them. Then I was at the swap meet. Oh, geez, about, oh, man, I don't know. Six years ago, maybe, something like that. And a guy was had a bunch of magazines in his booth. And then we had a big rainstorm. He covered everything up. Nothing really got wet, but he wanted to go home. So we walked by, and he said, you want any of these magazines? And he had a ton of street riders. So me and my son-in-law said, hell yeah. So I got a lot more. So what I'm doing is, is I'm dividing them up in years. So this year's another 78 in the article there. And then Tim Boyd, you know, I'm sure we've all heard of Tim Boyd. He became the author of these columns every month. And he would show his stuff, how-tos, uh, contest cars. You know, here I'm already up to, uh, what am I up to here, 81. Uh, this is my favorite article he did back in, oh, where's it at here? What did I just leave off at 81? So this must be 82. Yes, yeah, so this is 82. Uh, that inspired me to build that panel I have. Just a beautiful model. I remember buying this. There's some more pictures of it there. I remember buying this at a Fred Meyer store. And just wore the thing out. So anyway, and then here's some, you know, some contests, some reader stuff. He'd do themes. Kind of like he does in Scale Auto. And then uh, he was over here I got like, I'm up to 86, 8, 88. There's some cool pictures there and stuff. Then it got up in the 90s. He did some features on some builders. Uh, I don't know if anybody knew uh, Prior Passerino. He's from California. He came up here, oh, geez, quite a few years ago. Probably before 90. I met him. A uh, pretty nice guy. And uh, this shows some of his builds. He did a lot of commission builds. I think he's uh, passed away, 
but uh, phenomenal stuff. He built uh, Gary Meadows, uh, as I say his last name, you know, he built his little uh, sedan there, a replica of that. Really cool. So that's kind of neat. And he did some st and there was an article, I don't know if this is a Tim Boyd article, but there was one in uh, 1990 about uh, builders and collectors. And there is uh, Jack Davis right there. There's some more prior stuff to glare off of it. And then this just showed some stuff. Uh, kind of give you an idea who's all damn glare who's all in the article here it's a pretty neat one uh, there's some crazy stuff there Dave Hill I don't know if anybody's heard of him I don't know if any of these guys are still around or not but he had some pretty cool stuff right there he did a lot of those uh, cutting the cab off or cutting the roof off the cab making little pickup things roaster pickups whatever you call them and I don't recognize that name. There's some more Jack Davis stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And we all know Larry Wood from Hot Wheels Guy. Dave Peters. I've seen a few of his things around here and there. Let's flip the page here. And uh, this guy built a replica of that. That was a famous uh, 40 sedan drag car back in the day. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So, I got all those right there. So I'm going to go through all these, put them in years, all in the right bu year bundle. Then I'm going to put them in the clear sleeves, kind of like what I did with my contest stuff, and put them in one, another one of those big white binders. So I just thought I'd share with you my little obsession here and what I got to hair up my you-know-what to start doing. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And then from time to time, I will get these out and we'll take a few pages, you know, like this right here. And we'll take a little trip back in time to 83 and we'll look at some models. And there's some local guys and I think maybe even yours truly might be in one or two somewhere, if I remember right. We'll see. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, thought I'd share it with you. Lots of cool model stuff, so we'll have some good memories with this stuff. So, until then, until another update, whatever we're doing, I'll let you guys go. I appreciate you watching, looking at some of this goofy stuff. I love going back and looking at this stuff. So anyway, thanks again everybody for subscribing. I appreciate it. I really do. And uh, if you haven't, like I say, give it a shot. Having lots of fun here. Looking at all kinds of stuff. So you never know what you're going to see. So, you know, watch a few videos. See what you think. If you like it, hit the button and ring the bell. And we'll go from there. So until then, everybody take care. Have a good week. And I'll talk to you in a day or two. Bye.